Hello. In this video, we're going to go through a quick introduction into the special inspection levels in the AQL tables. A quick recap of AQL, that's the quality level that is the worst tolerable. And different AQLs are usually set for critical major and minor defects when performing random sampling product inspections. So what are the special inspection levels? Some people confuse these with the general inspection levels that we see on the left hand side of table one. But we're looking at the special inspection levels today. So here's what the standard says about the levels. First of all, we've got the general levels here and importantly, the special levels. So four additional special levels, S1 through four, are also given in table one that we just saw on the other page and may be used where relatively small sample sizes are necessary and larger sampling risks can be tolerated. So when do we use these levels? Well, there are two good reasons to select special inspection levels. Number one, the general levels point to a number of samples that's not realistic. And number two, when checking far fewer samples doesn't mean the risk of non-detection is much lower. So if we look at number one, there are a few examples where the special levels come in handy. Firstly, if you want to check the packaging in full, but only on a few cartons. If you want to perform some time consuming tests, but you don't have the time to run the tests on all the samples. And if you want to perform destructive tests, but don't want to destroy too many samples. And then for number two, the casing of an electronic product is made by plastic injection molding all of the pieces come out of the same mold. So it's important to validate that the first articles are acceptable and sign off. There's still a chance that things can go downhill over time, but dimensions would tend to be similar and many buyers decide to reduce the sampling size on all pieces coming out of a mold. In that case, the trade-off makes sense. So how do we read the AQL tables when we've decided to use special inspection levels? Let's use the example of when you're buying 50,000 salt and pepper sets in ceramic. Some have different colors, you're including booklets, etc. So this means that there are many ways that the packing can actually go wrong. You want to check the packing in great detail, but only on an S3 level. If we look at the table below, you can see that the code letter for S3 and your lot size is G. So we'll take that letter and go into the other table and look at the corresponding information for G. So we can see that you should check the packing on 32 samples. If you don't want to accept a defective packing on more than one and a half percent of the quantity, the limit is one. So in other words, you accept the batch and if you find zero or one defective cartons, it's okay. But you reject it if you find two or more. We've actually got a video that tells you how to select the special inspection levels. So I'll include the link to that in the description for this video. A quick note, when it comes to tests on products and these tests are conducted on a special level, they're considered critical. Let's look at three examples of points checked on different levels. Let's use a batch of LED lights as the example. So here are three checks that may take place. Firstly, a visual check. So this is typically done on a general level, such as two. So we check the appearance and workmanship. The product should comply with product specifications. And we're going to report the findings and mark where there may be issues. Secondly, a color temperature test. If this is important, it might get done on S2. So we check the color temperature and we check it on a number of different samples and report the findings. The product should comply with product specifications. And thirdly, an internal check, which is typically done on S1 or only on one piece. So we open the unit and visually inspect the workmanship and the product should have no damage, odor or unsafe construction. There's also a video about the different checkpoints and testing for LED products. And I'll include the link to that in the description to this video too. So there you have it a quick intro into the special inspection levels in the AQL tables. So how about now? Do you need help with your own quality inspections at the moment? 
Well, over at SoftEast, we provide quality assurance solutions to clients all across China and Southeast Asia. If you'd like to learn more about any of those, you can check out the links that you see on this page and understand what we're providing and even get a quote if you'd like. And as for content, don't miss any blog posts and resources from the companies we're related to. So you've got our own regular blog posts on qualityinspection.org here. But we also blog and have a lot of free resources for importers and manufacturers at SoftEast as well. So there's the blog there and the resource library. And don't forget Sync Control, which is our quality inspection software company, who has a blog too. Thanks for watching today. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you found it useful. We'll see you next time.